Eggplant vs Type 2 Diabetes First of all, let us understand briefly what is diabetes and what types of diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic disease that occurs when the pancreas is no longer able to make insulin, or when the body cannot make good use of the insulin it produces. Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas, that acts like a key to let glucose from the food we eat pass from the bloodstream into the cells in the body to produce energy. All carbohydrate foods are broken down into glucose in the blood. Insulin helps glucose get into the cells. Not being able to produce insulin or use it effectively leads to raised glucose levels in the blood known as hyperglycemia. Over the long term high glucose levels are associated with damage to the body and failure of various organs and tissues. There are three main types of diabetes, type 1, type 2 and gestational. Type 1 diabetes can develop at any age, but occurs most frequently in children and adolescents. When you have type 1 diabetes, your body produces very little or no insulin, which means that you need daily insulin injections to maintain blood glucose levels under control. Type 2 diabetes is more common in adults and accounts for around 90% of all diabetes cases. When you have type 2 diabetes, your body does not make good use of the insulin that it produces. The cornerstone of type 2 diabetes treatment is healthy lifestyle, including increased physical activity and healthy diet. However, over time most people with type 2 diabetes will require oral drugs and or insulin to keep their blood glucose levels under control. Gestational diabetes GDM, is a type of diabetes that consists of high blood glucose during pregnancy and is associated with complications to both mother and child. GDM usually disappears after pregnancy but women affected and their children are at increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Diabetes 2 is different from the genetically inherited type 1 diabetes. It has emerged as a big problem in recent years due to lack of physical activity and changing dietary habits, which include more of refined carbohydrates and less of legumes and vegetables. Often brought on by excess weight, diabetes undermines insulin production, sending blood sugar soaring. This can triple levels of free radicals, unstable molecules which can wreak havoc on healthy cells, contributing to a variety of diabetic woes, ranging from kidney failure to heart disease, stroke, nerve damage and blindness. Simple lifestyle changes can help prevent and reduce high blood sugar levels, and one change experts recommend to make is to eat a healthy diet. There's nothing you cannot eat if you have type 2 diabetes, but certain foods should be limited. You should eat a wide range of foods, including fruits, vegetables and some starchy foods like pasta, keep sugar, fat and salt to a minimum, and eat breakfast, lunch and dinner every day, no skipping meals. But individual foods have also been found to hold blood sugar lowering properties. One surprising food which has been found to promote blood sugar control is eggplant. So, how can eggplant help prevent and control diabetes too? An eggplant-rich diet is an effective solution for the prevention of type 2 diabetes, but how can eating more eggplant do this? 1. Studies have found that the consumption of eggplants actually hinders the enzyme which converts starch into blood sugar. 2. Whilst being packed with fiber, eggplants have a minimal soluble carbohydrate content. 3. The vegetable is also rich with phenols, the antioxidant properties of which actually help control blood sugar levels among diabetics. Phenols regulate the body's carbohydrate metabolism. This gives insulin more time to break down the carbohydrates, particularly from refined foods that are devoid of any fiber or vitamin content. 4. Other diabetes-fighting nutrients found in eggplants include in quercetin, beta-carotene, genistein and curcumin. 5. Eggplant is a very low-calorie, highly nutrient-dense food which makes you feel full, thus preventing overeating. Should people with type 2 diabetes consume eggplant? Type 2 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where the pancreas, the organ responsible to produce insulin stops producing the enzyme. Insulin is extremely important for the body as it breaks down the sugar in the blood and converts it into energy. In the absence of insulin, the sugar levels in the blood can rise, which can even be fatal. When someone suffers from type 2 diabetes, they have to be very careful about their lifestyle, especially diet, to ensure that their blood sugar levels are always regulated and under control. 
eating foods rich in sugar or consuming foods with too many carbohydrates can make things worse for people with diabetes. High fiber foods are considered good for people with diabetes, as they help in slowing down the process of sugar breakdown in the blood. Keeping these things in mind, the consumption of the vegetable eggplant is safe for people with diabetes. In summary, eggplant is a great low calorie, low glycemic index GI, low carb vegetable to include in your diet as long as you don't have an allergy or sensitivity to them. In addition, Japanese researchers found a compound in eggplant peels that could help stop cancer proliferation. Nasanin blocks the formation of blood vessels that feed malignant tumors in this basic research. So, can you consume the popular vegetable if you have diabetes? Other ways to help manage or even avoid diabetes. The International Diabetes Federation IDF, recommendations for a healthy diet for the general population. 1. Choosing water, coffee or tea instead of fruit juice, soda, or other sugar-sweetened beverages. 2. Eating at least three servings of vegetable every day, including green leafy vegetables. 3. Eating up to three servings of fresh fruit every day. 4. Choosing nuts, a piece of fresh fruit, or unsweetened yogurt for a snack. 5. Limiting alcohol intake to a maximum of two standard drinks per day. 6. Choosing lean cuts of white meat, poultry or seafood instead of red or processed meat. 7. Choosing peanut butter instead of chocolate spread or jam. 8. Choosing whole grain bread, rice, or pasta instead of white bread, rice, or pasta. 9. Choosing unsaturated fats, olive oil, canola oil, corn oil, or sunflower oil, instead of saturated fats butter, animal fat, coconut oil or palm oil. A particular threat in terms of the associated risk of developing type 2 diabetes is the consumption of high sugar foods, particularly sugar-sweetened beverages. In 2014, the World Health Organization WHO, issued new recommendations to limit sugar intake. Try it. Let the food be your medicine, and the medicine your food. Share and make your loved ones aware because health is wealth.